I open simplyscuba.com. In this session, we're looking at the Sunto Helio 2 technical trimix dive computer. Let's take a closer look. So some of the features we've got in this computer then. As we said, it's a trimix computer, ideal for obviously any technical diving and trimix diving. Also comes in bundled with its own software as well, which is designed to simplify the planning of dive profiles, gases and backup plans with an easy to use graphical planner. This allows you to try variations of depths, times and gases and partial pressures without the need to constantly recalculate and also shows all the results on an easy to read graph. The computer itself is obviously a wrist mounted computer. We have a nice large wrist strap which easily fits over the top of your dry suit cuff or your wet suit cuff, you can tighten it up slightly tighter. Nice rubberized cover around the computer itself, keep it nice and protected and also covers the, the four buttons on the outside. Slight grips on the buttons as well, so easy to push, especially with gloves on as well, so you get easy access to the menu and functions. On the front as well, we have a hard plastic cover. This just protects the screen from any scratches or bangs. And the screen itself is a dot matrix screen, so you get a nice, large, clear display, making it very easy to read underwater. If we now take a look at the actual functions and menu system, Okay, so if now take a look at the menu system on the computer. First, just note, there is usually a, a plastic guard that goes over the front of the screen just to protect it. We have removed that for this video just to reduce the glare, and obviously so you can see the screen a little better. So when you turn the computer on, you will be sent straight to the time page, which you can see at the moment. Um, obviously, when this is, the computer's left idle for a while, after about three minutes or so, it will automatically switch to this section as well. So on the time page, as you can see, the nice large display, you can see the time there and the current date as well. If you ever want to change any of the settings, obviously we can see the four buttons on the outside. We have mode, select, up and down. If you hold down the down key for a couple of seconds, it will start up the time settings. And then you have the time menu. Now again, by using these up and down keys, you can scroll through these extra menu settings. As we have here, we have time, date, units, backlight, and also tones. You can select any of these extra menus just by pressing the select key, and then you can adjust the extra information again by using these up and down keys. To go back in a stage in the menu, you literally just press the mode button, and it will send you back one step. So to get into dive mode, Press the mode button, so it sends you through onto the mode screen. Quick flash of some additional information, quick battery check, and then through to the dive page. So what we have here is your depth shown at the top. A little symbol to indicate audible alarms if they're switched on. At the moment it has service and no fly time just displayed. So obviously the computer isn't submerged, it's got no additional information stored on it currently. Um, but when you are dived, all your extra information will be shown in that main window in the front there. At the bottom, we have currently temperature and O2 percentage. By pressing the up and down keys, this then changes the display in the bottom corners. So temperature, press up. This then gives you your PO2, press it again. Then gives you your OLF percentage. Press it one more time, then gives you your dive time. And press it again, sends you back to temperature. And on the other side, go from 0.2%, then sends you to your maximum depth. Press it one more time, shows you your time. Press it one more time, then show your tank pressure. As we said, obviously, if you're connected to the wireless transmitter. Press it again, sends you back to your O2. So as you can see, you can change around the display, making it ideal. You can get a lot more versatile and get a lot more information on one screen. If you hold down the down button again for a couple of seconds, so then sends you through to your mixed dive menu. Here you can find your gases, you have depth alarms, dive time alarms, personal altitude settings, sample rates, tank pressure, tank pressure alarms, and also units. So it works exactly the same as it does with the time menu, working up and down, scrolling through these menus, and then pressing select to enter into one of them. So gases, as we said before, you can have up to eight different mixed gases settings on here. 
We have a primary mix and then seven other additional mixes. And then again, by selecting the select button, you can then enter the different settings to get the right mix for you. Again, pressing mode sends you back one step every time in the menu. If we press mode again quickly, and then one of the buttons on the bottom, you can then switch to gauge instead of mix dive if you need to. Again, pressing mode again, and then one more time, it will then send you on to the next stage in the menu. So this is the memory stage. Uh, we have uh, logs built in here, so you can store up to between 47 and 50 hours of diving in the logbook on this particular dive computer. So this stores all the vital information from your dives. Obviously, currently, we have no dives stored on here, so it is empty. But then you can use the up and down keys to scroll through those different dives. If you press menu again, you scroll to the left, it'll then show you us history. So it's obviously history from your last dive. Obviously, if you want to log it in the logbook, you can then go to this at a later stage, get all the relevant information from your last dive, and then jot it down into your logbook. So there are two settings in the memory area. We press mode again, send you back to time. So as you can see, we've got loads of different settings on there. You can really personalize and customize the menu system itself. Uh, a fantastic computer for obviously trimix diving, and with that extra software, you can really get everything you need for when you go diving. <laughs>